welcome back to the vlog. Excited to see you guys today. Hey, if you haven't been here yet, our channel is all about getting you the tools you need to make great coffee at home. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe and then click that bell icon so that you get notifications as soon as we release content. And that way you can stay up to date on all the things you need to make good coffee, all right? Hey, today we are gonna be talking about what to order when you go to a coffee shop. I know that coffee shops are opening back up and so I wanna make sure that you're set up for success to be able to order the right thing. I used to go to coffee shops and I would order the wrong thing. I would think that it was the right thing and I would pay all this money and then I wouldn't like the drink. I wanna make sure that you enjoy the drinks that you buy, all right? Let's simplify a couple things and clarify some of the names that are used in the coffee world, cool? All right, let's get going to the content. Okay, let's break this down real quick and real easy for you. Let's start with espresso. Espresso normally comes in what is called a double shot. That's for any of the drinks you order. Espresso can be a double shot, it can be a single, it can be a triple or a quad, but typically default is a double shot. When espresso was first being made, it was being made on machines that could only actually handle about 15 to 16 grams of coffee as a yield. So they would get the coffee grounds, they would put them in the portafilter, they put that on the machine, and they would brew water through that amount of coffee, about seven grams of dry coffee, and then they would end up with a shot that was about 15 grams uh, heavy. That was a single shot. Once the mid like 1950s came around, our machinery got better. We we you know coffee industry grew, and uh, espresso made its way over to America, and we started to serve double shots. So nowadays, that's pretty much what you'll expect to see at any time when you go to a shop. Now you can order a triple, and you can order a quad shot. Different shops might have it dialed in differently, so where they can do those really easily, sometimes they don't. So. Just general rule of thumb, you can expect a double shot. If you want more, be prepared for that. Now, when you see espresso, sometimes it will say single origin espresso, SO, or a blend. And we've already talked in one of our other blogs, if you want to check out here, bop, bop. in that video, we discuss different types of coffee that you can buy. This same thing applies to the coffees that you'll find at a coffee shop. A single origin espresso shot versus a blend might mean that the single origin is made to really taste the flavor and just drink it by itself. And if you just want that, it's just a drink in itself. If you want a blend uh, of espresso, it'll typically, it'll be like a house blend. It'll typically come with the other drinks. It might be a bit more bold because it's meant to go with milk uh, than the single origin, okay? Check out that video if you want to understand that a bit more, okay? Let's move on to macchiatos. Oh, macchiatos. Macchiatos have been so misconstrued in the world. So there is a very big company that took macchiato and applied it in a way that actually is misleading to what a macchiato is meant to be. So macchiato uh, means to mark. And uh, what this means is that you'll take something and you'll mark whatever else is the is like the, the base with this. So this company that I know of actually took coffee and uh, made that the mark on top of milk. And that's what they have uh, coined as a caramel macchiato. That means that they have milk, they pour some espresso on top of that and then they drizzle some caramel sauce and that's the drink. It typically comes about a 12 ounce. Um, this is not what macchiato was meant to be. A macchiato is actually meant to be espresso, about 32 ounces of espresso, with a mark of milk, frothed milk on top of that. That is an espresso macchiato. So instead of marking the milk with coffee, we mark the coffee with milk. It's a very small drink, it comes in a demi cup, uh, and it's, it's about two ounces of a drink. It's just a way to smoothen up the espresso to make it a little bit more enjoyable to drink if you like milk with your coffee. All right, moving on to the next size, about a four ounce cup now, and this is a Cortado. You might have seen this in your shops. Cortado is also known sometimes as a Gibraltar or a Piccolo. This is a four ounce cup, it only has espresso and milk in it. Again, none of these drinks are actually sweetened from the get-go. If you go to a shop that's a specialty shop or a third wave shop, these are just gonna be espresso and milk, okay? So a Cortado, Gibraltar, or a Piccolo, it's about this size, it comes in what's called a Gibraltar glass. It's basically what you would see as like a whiskey glass or something like that. Really good drink, really nice, but not sweet, don't expect it. All right, moving on to the next size, eight ounces. This is a cappuccino or a flat white. Now, the sizes will vary, but let's talk about this first thing first. Cappuccinos and flat whites are not the same thing. Cappuccinos are meant to be half dry and half wet drink. 
you'll see these uh, at certain big companies. They'll make a very, very dry uh, cappuccino where it's mostly foam and a tiny bit of uh, coffee at the end, or uh, it'll be more wet where it's a tiny bit of foam and it's, you know, more coffee. Um, this is, this can vary in size uh, from an eight ounce to a 12 ounce or whatever, as long as it's separated like that, where it's a bit of dry and a bit of wet, it's a cappuccino. A flat white is an eight ounce, smooth, mixed coffee drink, espresso drink, just like um, the Cortado, just like the Macchiato. It's, it's not dry or wet, it's just microfoam and coffee in an eight ounce cup, and that's a flat white. All right, moving on. A latte is a 12 ounce cup of espresso and microfoam milk. It's a very smooth drink. It's a very uh, light amount of coffee for the amount of milk in it. And it's very comforting to drink as a drink. You can get it with different types of milks and it'll change the flavors a little bit. You can do different types of espresso in all of these drinks. And obviously it'll change the flavors if you're a purist and you don't like the sugar. Um, but a latte is just this size. You can get a latte after the 12 ounce in a 16 ounce or whatever, and it's still a latte. If you go to a shop, they might have different names for this, but this is pretty standard in the coffee world as far as names, correlations go between the recipes. Cool beans, cool beans. That's all I wanna give you today. Once you go to a shop, check this out. The one thing I would say is that if you have a drink that you normally get at a shop and you love it, get to know what it is. Ask your barista about it, ask what it is, ask what makes it that drink, ask the recipe of it, and then when you go somewhere else, ask them about that same drink. And don't expect to get the exact same drink and the exact same experience because everybody has a different meaning or a different way that they make these coffees. So don't be afraid, don't be hesitant to ask your barista. And if they're not excited to tell you about it, don't go back to the shop. This is a service industry thing. Coffee shops are there to serve you. Do not be intimidated by going to coffee shops, okay? If they aren't nice, don't go back. That's what I say. Coffee shops should be a really enjoyable place to go. I hope that you find a great one for you and I hope this helps you a little bit as you walk up to the window and that you feel a bit more empowered to order something knowing exactly what it is. All right, y'all have an amazing day. Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe and then click that bell icon so that you get notifications as soon as we release videos so that you stay up to date on all things great coffee. All right, until next time, enjoy your life, enjoy good coffee. We'll see you later.